Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about solid state drives for your Dell PowerEdge M630 Blade server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge M630 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. Well, let's hop in. Now, this video will be specifically focused on solid state drives for your Dell PowerEdge M630 Blade server. All right, so here's what we're going to do in this video as a whole. We're going to go over the different types of compatible drives for your M630 13-gen Blade server. We're going to go over the max speeds, the max sizes. We're going to show you how to physically install one, which is really easy because it's a hot swap drive, but we're going to show you nonetheless. We're going to show you two tools that we're big fans of. Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. These tools we recommend for testing your drives just to make sure that you have a good healthy drive, especially if you're buying used. Uh, with HD Sentinel, we're a big fan of it. What we do is we hook up a storage array separate to our server, and it allows us, before we ever put a drive into a live production environment, to test it and see the power on hours and the health score, so a huge, huge fan of it. And Dell Diagnostics is great. Uh, test not only the drives, but the entire system, so a huge, huge fan of Dell Diagnostics as a whole. So, all right, well, let's hop into the compatibilities. You have SAS solid state drives, and you have SATA solid state drives. And there's some advantages to both. With SAS, you can get 6 gigabit per second, whereas with SATA, you can only get 3 gigabit per second, so SAS will be faster on the max speed overall. And I did want to note, if you put in a 12 gigabit per second SAS, it will work, but it's going to clock down to 6, and if you put in a 6 gigabit per second SATA, it will work, but it will clock down to 3 gigabit per second. So those are just you know good things to note. So if you're looking at uh, a drive and you are only finding 6 gigabit per second, and, or maybe even cost less, um, it's okay to buy it, it will work, and maybe you can use it for another system in the future, so something just worth noting and pointing out. So on the max size, this is the exact same. You can get 7.68 terabytes per drive slot, which honestly is great storage overall when you really stop and think about it, because on the hard drive side, the max you can get is 2.4 terabytes with SAS and 2 terabytes with SATA. So you're getting a not only a better performing drive with a solid state drive that's going to be much faster, it's going to be much more reliable, less likely to f uh, fall out on you, and it's going to be uh, better storage and scalability overall. So when you just think of all the wins in there, it's definitely a, a great upgrade overall. One of the things that we always tell people when they ask us, hey, we really like our M630. It's doing everything we need it to do, but we just want it to perform a little bit better and be a little bit faster. Uh, how can we do that? I always recommend two things. Upgrade your RAM and upgrade your solid state drives. This is the best way to uh, extend the life a couple more years out of your 13th gen server uh, before you go and drop you know, 10, 20 grand on a brand new server. Uh, this is definitely a great way that you can go, which by the way, we sell new and used servers. So uh, if you are at that point where you do need to get a new system we can give you options for both sides so that you can see you know which is going to be the best price point for you so all right well now that we know a little bit more about the speeds the sizes let's show you how to physically install one all right I have my EST gear on we're safe to work on our power edge m630 server so this will be a very easy install as a whole we're just going to remove our old drive so let's pull this out and we're going to put in our new SSD so all you're going to do is just line everything up slide this in you'll see the tray is going to clip right there and you're just going to push it into place again i'll do it one more time very easy install as a whole and will be great to boost the performance of your m630 as a whole one thing i do want to note is this tray right here is a tray for the r series so the r630 for instance would use this tray the m630 is going to use this tray it's a smaller tray it's more compact to be able to fit into the small space of a blade. When you order SSDs from us, we will make sure that you get the right tray. So next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to test this with Dell Diagnostics. Hey guys, it's Ben with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to test your hard drives with Dell Diagnostics. And technically, it's going to cover more than just hard drives. It'll test your whole system and other components such as your CPUs, your memory, your NIC, the fans, video cards, and much, much more. But like I said, you can also test your hard drives with this, and it's actually a pretty good way to test them, um, and it's a great way to see if there's issues with those drives. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to go ahead and do is boot up your server and during post you want to go ahead and press F10 so you can enter the lifecycle controller. Once you're in the lifecycle controller you want to navigate to the hardware diagnostics tab on the left side and then you want to press run hardware diagnostics. And you may get a little warning screen but you just want to go ahead and press yes 
and it'll take a little bit of a second to load, but this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So immediately, whenever we load into Dell Diagnostics, there is a lot of information that pops up. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, it shows everything that's going to be tested. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's lots of information about the test itself. Um, you can also navigate to the results and different configurations and also the event log. One thing I do want to mention about Dell Diagnostics is that some of you out there, when trying to run the hardware diagnostics, you may get an issue or you may get a warning about the firmware not being supported or the onboard diagnostics not being supported. And in that case, you want to go ahead and you can either do this in Lifecycle Controller itself or you can do it in iDRAC, but you just want to go ahead and update that firmware. And we actually have a video later on in the series that covers mass updates. And one of the things that's in those updates is the onboard diagnostics firmware. So stay tuned for that, and that'll give you all that information you need. And like I said, you can also do this through iDRAC as well. So other than that, there's not really much to say about these tests. You just kind of let it run, and this can, this can take a while. It can take, you know, maybe a low end of 20 minutes up to maybe even an hour, especially if you have more memory in your system. Um, it's going to take a while to test all of that. Um, the more drives you have, that might add some time to it. So it really just depends on your system's configuration. But we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. Like I said, pretty straightforward. Um, if it has any issues, it'll show you that that test failed. Uh, but if it has a check next to the test, like it does on the left-hand side for all of our items here, then that means the test was successful and there's no need to worry about it. So like I said, we're just going to go ahead and fast forward. All right, so we have finally reached the end of our test. And at the end of the test, we can go to the results tab that's in the middle of the screen, and we can go ahead and scroll through all the different messages. You can also view the event log, so that's pretty helpful. But if you go to the results, you can see a more in-depth information about the test that you just ran. So there's something very specific. It's a great place to look. But overall, that's Dell Diagnostics. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's easy to access. Like I said, you may have that one issue where you may have to update the onboard diagnostics firmware. Uh, but other than that, once you do that, you shouldn't have any issues. All you got to do is navigate to the hardware diagnostics and just let the test run. You can let these run and then just go off, do something else and come back 10, 20 minutes later. Um, and it's a pretty easy way to, one, test all of the drives in your system and make sure they're properly functioning but it's also a great way to test all of the other components in your system. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. And like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.